What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review this new album from Mr. Lift entitled Don't Look Down. Now, Mr. Lift is one of the uh, newer rappers that I'm familiar with. Well, he's not new, but he's one of the newest rappers for me to become familiar with, and he's from Massachusetts. I'm not sure if he's from Boston or not, but he is from Massachusetts, and it's good to see that because um, for the longest time, I thought that the only rappers out of Massachusetts were, well, Rapper from Massachusetts was uh, Guru from Gangstar, God rest his soul. Um, what can I say? Uh, it's not. Uh, Cousin Stiz is from there. Uh, this guy named Slane is from Massachusetts. Uh, Mr. Lift, like I said, and a few other guys. Um, some that I've uh, I reviewed Cousin Stiz, but I want to say there's a one or two more people that I've reviewed this year that are from Massachusetts. Um, one, there are a couple more from Boston. Stiz is from Boston. Um, I want to say Mr. Lift, oh, for some reason I want to say he's from the same place as uh, Guru, but at the same time, I, now I want to say Guru's from Boston, and Mr. Lift isn't from Boston, I believe. Either way, there are more Massachusetts rappers that I'm aware of now, other than um, Guru from Gangstar, and DJ Premier, he's not from Massachusetts, he was born in Houston, actually, uh, so he, he always gets a lot of love down in Houston, uh, and I'm going to update real quick. I'm about to be in Houston week after next, so uh, you won't see a lot of video. You, well, you won't see any videos for like a week. Um, so I just want to make you all aware of that. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Sanchez Long, and um, very interesting. Um, here's, I have some notes about Mr. Lift, though. He doesn't have like the best voice, uh, like the most uh, pleasant voice to hear. It's like kind of... When I say it's annoying, it, it kind of sounds, not nasally, but he's like, <laughs> kind of whiny a little bit, but I think that's just his regular voice. Um, and he's the very heavy scratch type. I reviewed his uh, project with uh, LaRange, or LaOrange, um, what was that titled? Um, the Life and Death of Scenery, which is very good, <laughs> very good. Um, and... I really enjoyed that project, LaRange being the producer and uh, Mr. Lift being the MC. It was a very good collab project, and I was very excited to go back and hear this because it dropped early in the year, but I just did not get around to reviewing it. I listened to some of it, but I just was like, but after hearing that collab, I was like, you know what, let me go back and listen to it, and I'm glad I did. With track number one, Don't Look Down, you get a very ambient, spacey, noisy uh, vapor wavish type of instrumental. It's a song about life and personal struggle and uh, things getting to be too much. And when things are uh, usually not a problem for Mr. Lift, uh, these things are starting to become a problem. He um, said, if you're feeling so lost, you can't be found. Don't look down. He's saying like things are usually easy for him to handle, but things are starting just to get too much. But he can't look down because well, he's gonna fall. Track number two. Let Go featuring Selena Carrera. This is a song about just telling, you, just telling you to stop worrying and just let things go and just chill. And it kind of has a chiller vibe. Not cold, but you know, just a more relaxed vibe to it. Track number three. One of my favorite tracks on here, along with uh, uh, an upcoming track pretty soon. This is entitled Ill. When I first saw it, I thought it was entitled Three. You know, just... Uh, in Roman numerals, but it was entitled Ill, and this is on some riding and thinking type of stuff right here, uh, this quote, uh, what I would do with all this extra data, nothing like a cell provider who would catalog it to sell for profit, <laughs> it's like, yo, <laughs> this dude, okay, <clears throat> and the scratches uh, are the shit, and the bass is so smooth, and like I said, I thought it was uh, three, because it was like in Roman numerals, kind of. Not really, though, now that I remember it. <laughs> Track number four, Every Day We Pray. Uh, the pretty simple song. There's not really much to say. Just saying things become, um, it becomes an everyday thing to pray, um, as people do every day. Um, a good amount of people, believe it or not, do pray every day. And it gets to a point where it's like, you know what, I have to. People have to pray every day because it always seems like there's something trying to test them. Check number five. A Better Day featuring Erica D. 
Um, this is a song about Lyft saying that he is going through some things, but he at the end of the day, he's glad to at least be alive so he can live to see a better day and better days. <clears throat> so I like the concept of that song. Track number six, World Renown, featuring Del the Funk E Homo Sapien. <laughs> and I have to say right out, I'd rather hear Del rapping over this beat than I would Lyf. And Del just has a better a more pleasant voice to hear than uh Lyf does. I mean Lyf it's not like like I say he doesn't have the best voice, but it's not like a turn off to like the music. It's like Danny Brown. Uh, Danny Brown I may mean, not Danny Brown is kind of cartoonish so I can really get with it. I just be turned <laughs> listen to some t- <laughs> listening to Danny Danny Brown. It's like shit. Um it's a very happy go lucky um, multiple instruments and fuse type of beat. One of my favorite tracks on here. This and um, uh, Ill. Track number seven, uh, The Abyss. This is a busier song. Or actually, a, one of the bu- probably the busiest song on. No, it's the busiest song on this project. It's a song about um. <clears throat> uh, well, I can just picture a man like running out of a small town and into a jungle somehow, and running in and out of a jungle or into the abyss and just being chased and chasing somebody and like it's like a you're doomed type of feel like i'm reading a comic book or a book of a guy who's doing exactly what i just said he's running in and out of a town but into or out of a jungle but more into uh, a jungle slash abyss and he's just doomed chart number eight mission accomplished featuring the perceptionist um, the, the point of this project is, well, the point of this song is, um, what I got at least when they said, well, when Perceptionist dude said, spawning, well, no, it was Lyft who said this, spawning a new world on every new track, so the mission is accomplished. That's pretty much the gist of this song. Track number nine, Pounds of Pressure, one of the, um, better, not, I'm not saying better like there are any bad tracks on here because there aren't. Except for one that I just feel like ah, I don't really need it every day we pray. Uh, this song, Pounds of Pressure, um, <clears throat> drama creates the stress in your mind, and so do you, creating drama for yourself, unnecessary. And um, karma also creates it. You know, you pass actions, and fate has to be uh, thrown in there as well. And he's just asking, how are you going to handle it? And then tells you a story of a person who just couldn't handle it anymore and ended it all. Jumped right off a roof. And the last track on here, Wisdom featuring Blackistan. <laughs> uh, noisy, um, cutting in and out warp type of shit and a lot of echoes. And uh, Blackistan just sh- said his thoughts are way beyond what's in the Quran. Yeah, he said like that. Way beyond... Um, wait, go beyond what's in the Quran. Just like that. And overall, I have to say this is an enjoyable project. Um, I, I could definitely see, uh, people listening to the collab with LaRange, or La Orange, um, first, and then going back to listen to this, instead of listening to this first. You know, that's what the majority of people did, is that this came out first. And then um, the collab with Laurent came out. But I could definitely see somebody being more uh, tolerable to this if they didn't like it on first listen. If they heard the collab with Laurent first or after they listened to this and then went back to this. Um, I don't think listening to this for the first time and not liking it would make someone want to go listen to the collab with Laurent though. But they're both uh, very good projects. I think the collab with the Laurent is better though. But I'm out of part two, not at all. <laughs> I would not. Um, but that's pretty much it for this project. I give it a seven to a seven point five, and I give it a C. C. I give it a C, not to a C plus. I give it a C. Um. Yeah, I give it a C. A seven to a seven point five out of ten. If you heard this project. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my view on it. Also, be sure to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe if you're new. Get me on Twitter, Facebook, AudioMac, SoundCloud, Instagram, and hit up my email for business or anything. What I mean by hit up my email for business is, is if you need your music chopped and screwed, 
reviewed, if you need beats made, or you want to be featured on one of my upcoming DJ mix tapes, just let me know. DynamicJamPajima.com. Or if it's easy for you to look, get get at me on social media, like I said, Twitter, Facebook, it's all in the description. Or if it's easy for you to get at me in the comment section, just leave a comment and we'll see what we could do. And uh, if you want to donate, just if you want to donate to the promo movements as far as YouTube, music, entertainment, etc., it's dynamicjabajima.com through PayPal, but you don't have to. I'm just saying if you want to. And you can easily support by just keep doing what you're doing right now, watching the video or sharing, commenting, and hitting the like button. And, you know, like I said, sharing, telling your friends about me, and things like that. I appreciate whatever you do as long as you support and I appreciate what you do. And uh, giving you feedback as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.